Hi guys, it's Nikki from Health Nut Nutrition. Um, I just got back from the gym and I thought I'd share with you guys my not so green green smoothie. Um, now the whole idea of a green smoothie is using um, a leafy green. Uh, today I have spinach. Kale works really good too. If you're new uh, to the green smoothies, you can use romaine lettuce, something a little bit lighter with a crunch um, and with not such a bold taste. Um, so I already have uh, most of my ingredients already chopped up and laid out here, uh, just to make this video a little quicker. Um, I like to use, uh, when I'm using bananas for a smoothie, I like to use frozen bananas. I find they give the smoothie a thicker texture and uh, it makes it cold, obviously. So um, it takes, I didn't chop it up, uh, well I already, I mean, chopped it up. Um, but this one is normally what they look like when they are frozen, they're a little brown. Uh, not that appetizing looking, but they're great. When they're ripe and you freeze them, they're super sweet. Uh, it's also good for making uh, banana bread. Um, so pretty much, uh, even though it's frozen, it's really easy to take off the peel. You just cut off the edges. I cut mine also in half. And you just turn it on the side and easily peel off uh, the skin. Um, as you see, I have mine already chopped up. That's one whole frozen banana. So I have that there. Uh, for this recipe, you're also going to need about half a cup to a cup of uh, frozen berries. I have, oops, I have uh, frozen um, wild uh, blueberries here. That's just what I had. Um, I like using um, berries because it really takes away from the spinach taste. And hence, this is why it's not really a green looking green smoothie. Um, this is going to make it like a purple color. I also have, to get your omega-3 oils, I have some grounded flaxseed. Um, now, how you would normally uh, make this is you I have full flat seeds here, which is stored in the fridge. This brand is Inari. Uh, it's an organic uh, brand. I'll put a link below. Um, I just store this in the fridge, and then when I need it, I just put it in a little, I have a separate grinder, not the same one you would use for coffee, have a separate grinder, and I just grind up a little bit, small batches, because you want to make sure it's freshly ground uh, flax seeds when you're using it to really get the full benefits. Um, if you just put full uh, seed, flax seed in your smoothie, I mean, if you have a really good blender, it would ground it up, but you only absorb the omega-3s when it's ground. So um, there's my, it's about a tablespoon, that's what I have. And then I also have, uh, like I said, spinach. This is just um, baby spinach. You can also use, because um, I mean, fresh spinach doesn't last the longest. I find it goes bad really quickly. Uh, a trick I do is I put a, a piece of paper towel in it so it absorbs the moisture and doesn't rot as quickly. You can also use uh, frozen spinach. Um, I find because um, the one I used wasn't uh, baby spinach, just regular frozen spinach. It gave it a bit of a stronger um, spinach taste. Uh, so if you want a lighter taste, definitely uh, baby spinach. Also, you're going to need a protein powder. Um, I have two kinds here. I have unflavored. This is good when I'm using um, chocolate, uh, almond milk, or something that's already going to add flavor, and I don't need any added sugar. Um, today, since we're actually just going to be using water for the base, we're not using any almond milk, which you can, but I find it's just very hydrating, especially after the gym, just use water. Um, I'm just going to use a vanilla uh, protein powder. It's going to give it a nice flavor and kind of give it like a, a more thicker milky substance because it's a whey protein. Try to go for an isolate whey. Uh, it's just a cleaner protein. Um, and I'll also put, this one is uh, Interactive Nutrition um, brand and I'll put a link for that below. This was on sale at Nature's Emporium um, so I grabbed a few. So uh, we're just going to start with our banana. So just Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, put that in. It actually dethaws pretty quickly, so that one was sitting there for a bit, so it's already kind of dethawed. Um, next, okay, don't go light on the spinach. The more you put, the better. See, I'm dropping it on the floor too. Okay, so I take a big, you know, big handful, and I put it in. It looks a little scary, I know, but it's gonna taste really good. Okay, next we're gonna add the berries. Okay, and like I said, you can use, um, I also had in the freezer, like mixed berries, um, or you can use raspberries, whatever you'd like. I just find I had this right now, and it tastes good, so. Uh, next, we're going to add the flax seed, the ground flax. Okay. And a scoop, oh, let me just spread this in my hand. Be careful, because blue blueberries go everywhere, especially frozen blueberries. The juice just drips. And it goes all over you. I shouldn't be wearing a white shirt, but so we're just gonna take a scoop.
scoop of the protein powder and we're gonna put that right in there. Okay. And I normally do, when I'm adding my water, I just have some fresh filtered water here. Um, also very cold. You're gonna be drinking it right away, uh, especially because it has banana in it. Find banana smoothies, you need to drink right away or else, you know, if you have, if you were to cut up a banana, it would go brown after 20 minutes of it sitting there. So make sure it's fresh. You're gonna drink it right away. Um, so you want some fresh cold water so your smoothie's not, you know, room temperature. So I normally fill mine up just until um, I hit the spinach. Um, I made one the other day and I did mine about here and it made enough for about two and a half glasses. So I think I overdid the water. Um, you don't have to put all your water in at once. So actually right now I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna blend it and I'm gonna see if I want it a thicker consistency or thinner, whatever you'd like. So it's gonna get a little loud. We're just gonna put it on blend. Oh, turn it on first. Okay, that should be about good. We didn't really put any um, heavy things in here, so it doesn't take long to blend. So you're just gonna grab a nice tall glass. As you can see, it has a purple look to it. Um, I, the other day, put a lot, like I put a uh, full cup of blueberries. This time I only put half, so it was really purple. Um, so it definitely will change color depending on how many berries uh, you put in there. So we're just gonna fill that right up. As you can see, it actually makes quite a bit. See, I didn't need that extra water. So I would say I used about a cup and a half of water um, to make this amount, and it will easily make two cups. So you can definitely uh, serve two. Um, so that's my smoothie. Uh, this is great for in the morning. It's very energizing. Um, it's good for after workout like I'm having today um, because you're having the protein which is going to rebuild your muscles. Um, and it tastes really good. Like I don't taste the spinach at all. Um, you could always use uh, less spinach. If you're new to these and you find you can still taste it a little bit, I've been having green smoothies for a very long time, so I definitely don't notice the green taste. Um, but when I first heard about them, I thought it was odd putting, you know, greens into a fruit smoothie. Um, but definitely try this out. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any of your own green, green uh, smoothie recipes that you would like me to try or me to showcase on my site. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.